Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon! Last time, there was a treasure that I missed here, and, well, one of you was kind enough to remind me of that, so thanks a lot! It was on my list, I just glossed over it and forgot to get it. So, not that it's that extraordinary, but it's the principle of the thing. I hope you like the castle theme music playing here, viewers, because we're going to be hearing a lot of it throughout the game. But yeah, I like the music in this game. The menu music is very nice and relaxing. We need more JRPGs with unique menu opening music. Like a Final Fantasy 1 or something like that. But anyway, okay, so we made our report, we went through the sewers, and we can't leave because we have to visit Lavis's parents. So, okay, let's head on over there then. Just say, hi mom, we're gonna go off to war again. See ya! Is anyone home? Oh, he said, mom, I'm home, but I went through that too quickly. Shouldn't she have said, oh, Lavitz, it's you, not it's Lavitz? Maybe she's just trying to inflate his ego by referring to him in the third person. Yeah, we kicked ass and take names. Well, why not? Oh. Yeah, okay. We won't tell her about all the people who were brutally murdered. Except him. But other than that, everything's just fine. <laughs> oh, she's not attached to Lapitz, though. Besides, she's barely an adult. Oh, yeah, well, most men are like that. Yeah, good luck. It doesn't matter what you uh, put there, or what option you choose. We just get amusing dialogue if we choose this option. Ha ha ha! Oh. Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, she's gonna be sticking around anyway. No, I'm just doing it to end the conversation more quickly. Oh, yeah, that too. Well, maybe. You never know. We're kind of busy saving the world, though. Well, okay, we're just saving the one country, but... Same difference. Oh. Yeah, we kind of have to get out of here. It's kind of in the job description. Oh, yeah, sure, I suppose. You know how to cook? Well, I guess she's been an adult for long enough, but before moving onward, Let's go follow them in here. There's some things that I can do here more easily now than later. Just examine the cabinet here. We get Stardust number seven. So just something to keep in mind, how many Stardusts that we have. I'll try to let you know how many we have periodically so that way you know how you're doing there. Let's see, there was at the bottom of the screen there. Yeah, seven Stardusts. So we've gotten all the Stardusts that we can get at this point in the game. Okay, so now let's uh, talk to Lavitz. Yeah, sure, why not? They can cook, we can wash dishes, I guess. Oh, yeah, that too. Fish. Lots and lots of fish. Or meat. How do you grill something, though, on the go like that? I mean, I would doubt you'd keep a grill with you or something. I would think that'd be rather cumbersome to carry around everywhere. What do you mean by that? What is it with characters in JRPGs being terrible cooks 
But they end up cooking for everyone anyway. Or something like that. Seems kind of a weird trope. Well, we're about to head into battle, so yeah, let's practice. What, what's the problem, man? Sure, why not? We got plenty of room. Where else are we going to do that? Well, I suppose they did have that one training room back at the castle. Oh, okay. Never mind, then. Yeah, what does that even mean? Tut. I think it's just like I, I read up on it somewhere saying it was like an expression of disapproval or something or other like that. I, I don't know. They use that word a lot in the game. But anyway, well, we could rest up here so I don't have to pay for the inn. Yeah, what's the problem? You got a big hat. Um, okay. In what way did I not? But, never mind. Okay, never mind. Yeah, let's take a look around. Why not? You don't have to go through all those options. I just felt like screwing around. <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? There's a few places we can walk around here and get a little background. Yeah, it's a tiny kitchen you got there. Oh, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, that's why I got the Stardust earlier, because, yeah, we can't even go in there now. I mean, we can go back in there later. It's not like it's going to be blocked off or anything. But, you know, I figured just get it immediately and be done with that. Hmm, you got any stuff around here that I can examine? Oh, yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of objects in the game that you could just examine and get, I don't know, a little background information or something or description of whatever you're looking at. Yeah. But I'm not going to do that too much unless there's like a stardust or something for me to pick up. That is a really tiny room there. What pillar? I, I don't see a pillar around here. Oh. Ha ha. What do you mean? You're referring to me in the third person again? And what's this room? Oh. Nuts. Well, what do we got over here? This is the only room you actually have to go to in order to progress with the plot, by the way. So, if you don't care for all this nonsense, then, yeah, just go here and be done with it. What is that thing for, anyway? Well, obviously climbing, but maybe to get the, to the top of the bookshelves? Yeah, those bookshelves are a little tall, but I wouldn't think they're that tall. Maybe Lavitz's mom needs help with that. I don't think she even has a name, does she? I think they just refer to her as Lavitz's mom, and that's it. Kind of strange, but okay. Man, yeah, it's a nice view you got here. Not as good as the castle, but take what you can get. I mean, it's not like you can live in the castle. Well, I suppose the king does, but you know what I mean. Well, you're doing a pretty crappy job. Yeah, we can pretend. Why not? Oh, how great could he have possibly been? Um, okay. Whatever you say. Dart doesn't seem to really care for her that much, other than... I mean, yeah, he wants to save her life, but that's about it. He doesn't really seem like head over heels in love with her, though. 
But maybe that's what makes him attractive to her. Knowing how much he cares about her. Hmm? Oh. Yeah. Excuse me, princess. Oh, thank you. Well, we kind of have to end the war first. It's been going on for 20 years or something, but... Well, we'll get it over within about five minutes. But anyway, before we leave, if you talk to her again, we're ready to leave. You actually don't have to do this. You can just get out and leave if you want. But I do want to talk to her again. Because, well, something else happens here, too. Oh, you actually have jerky in the game. Uh, what? What's the problem? I, I, I don't understand what's going on with this conversation. Hmm? What do you got? Well, yeah, he's older than most JRPG protagonists. But anyway, yeah, the reason why I talk to her again is because if you do that, we can rest up here for free. So, sure, why not? Then, why did you say you didn't want it? Maybe he just didn't want to share with everyone else. I don't know. And by the way, she was talking about Lavitz growing up there. I'm hearing conflicting evidence on what Lavitz's age is. Someone said there's like a wiki or something that said he was like in his 30s, but the instruction manual says that he's in his 20s or something. Not that it really matters at all, but whatever. Yeah, it's not a big deal. But anyway, I do want to climb back up here. Uh, what was it? Yeah, oh yeah, about Lavitz. Suffice to say, he's older than the vast majority of JRPG protagonists. So, let's put it that way and leave it at that. But anyway, this is the barn that I said we weren't going to go into yet. Because, well, there's some treasure that we can get over here. But, in order to get to it, you have to climb up through Lavitz's house there. And whenever you see that little icon above Dart's head there, you need to press the X button to regain your balance for some reason. And if you do that enough times correctly, you'll be able to get over here. Ah! Oh, how did I miss that? Okay. One moment, viewers. I'll get back up there. Okay. Made it. I don't know how I screwed up that one time there. Uh, yeah, I was mashing the X button and somehow I missed that. Uh, I don't know, that's never happened to me before, but... Anyway, we got a healing breeze there. It's basically the same thing as a healing potion. Restores 50% of whatever your max HP is, but it hits all party members. So that's really helpful. I would like to try and save them for as long as possible for the end of the disc, because we can't even buy those things right now, and they'll be useful for some of the harder boss fights on disc one. Well, sorry. Well, it takes two, doesn't it, Dark? Oh. What baby? Are you carrying your baby on your back? How does it even work? I don't know. I don't have any experience in child rearing, as you may have noticed, viewers. Doesn't exactly sound like a good return on investment to me. I, I don't know. Call me crazy? Now, we could leave, but I want to follow that woman. And there's a very good reason why. 
Let's see. Okay, so we went to this place before. But, well, for some reason, this is the place where she went to. Hey, we have unfinished business there. Oh. Okay, yeah. Sure, why not? Oh, what's up? Oh. Well, yeah, we heard about that from the old man before. Yeah, they're like Dragon Balls. Or mini medals, like in a Dragon Quest game or something. Oh, okay. Sounds like a plan. Oh, yeah, sounds like a great deal. We can actually get some really good stuff from her for that. And it's all unique, too. You can't get them any other way in the game, to my knowledge. And in order to get those items, for every 10 Stardust you give her, you get a new item from her. So, kind of like a Dragon Quest game. Now, at this point, we only have 7, so we're not actually going to get anything in return. But I might as well give what I have to her right now. As long as we're here. It'll still sit, stay in your inventory, though. Or, or at least it'll be displayed on the menu there. So, yeah, it, it, it's always a running total. It's not like the Android version of Dragon Quest VI, where you spend it like currency, or the NES version of Dragon Quest IV. But, okay, I think that's pretty much everything around here. So, let's get out of here, and, well, we gotta head over to Hoax. Let's see, press the R2 button, and, yeah, we can go all the way down to the left there. So, whoop, yeah, we can zoom out even more if we really wanted to, but no, that's fine. How are we doing on our additions anyway? Let's check it out. Hmm, you're doing pretty good, and you're doing all right. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is that when we get to Hoax, uh, we're going to have a lot of opportunities to work on our additions. Let's put it that way. So if you're almost about to finish off an addition, you might want to switch to something else before we go there, or before we get there. And if you run into that yellow bird that you can in this area, I wouldn't worry about trying to kill it right now. We will be getting an item soon enough that will make that immensely easier for us to handle all that. But can we fend off the impending invasion of hoax by Imperial Sandora? Find out next time on Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon! This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!